Hi everyone, this is Mr. G'day. I'm going to walk you through how to read a GenBank page. So when you click on a blast result, or if you do a nucleotide search in NCBI, um, and you get a bunch of results, if you click on one, you're led to a GenBank page. Uh, this is the genetic database uh, for primarily the U.S., and there are uh, similar uh, databases in Japan and Europe. Now I'm going to walk you through all of the varied information on this page so you can find your way around. Now the first thing I want you to note is up here this little send box. Now if you click on this you'll have ways of downloading this information either as FASTA which is just the gene sequence um, as text or you can even download this whole page. Um, other places you should note. Um, there's obviously the title of the sequence that you're looking at. Um, and there's a bunch of information just below that. So if we take a look right here, we've got both the title of the genetic sequence, but also a few details. Right here, we've got the size of the sequence, 2451 base pairs. Um, the type of sequence, in this case is mRNA, could have been DNA. Um, and it, over here, we have linear. Uh, keep in mind that some nucleotide sequences are going to be circular, uh, especially in some viruses. Next, if we go below this area, um, we'll see the source organism, which is worth noting. Uh, hopefully you found something, if you're doing human work, uh, that is from human. Down below, we've got references. And these are the publications that are primarily responsible for the information on this page. Uh, the lower you go in the number of references, uh, we generally get older results. So this would be the first group uh, that had sequence information that led to this page. Um, and we can see when they submitted it um, and what they're affiliated with. Now this was not published in a research journal. Uh, this was directly submitted to uh, one of the three major databases and is now in GenBank. Now, if you want to reference the sequence itself or cite it in a research paper, um, this would probably be your best bet. Um, and this would be, again, authors, uh, many of whom were part of this original group, um, and an actual published uh, research paper here. Next, moving down the GenBank page. If we go to the very bottom, I'm going to skip a bit. Go to the very bottom, we've got the actual sequence. Um, and it's full length here. Um, but there is more to the sequence than you might think. If we scroll back up a little bit, in between the references and this uh, nucleotide sequence, we have some further information. Now, uh, if we look right here, this tells you the source. And again, it is Homo sapiens, and it is mRNA, but this tells you where it came from. Uh, this was extracted from a colon cancer cell line. Um, other information that you might be interested in. This right here, CDS, actually means something quite important. CDS stands for coding sequence. So even though there has been a, over 2,000 nucleotide sequence posted here, not all of it is coding. So the actual coding sequence is between the nucleotides of 64 and 1245, and they've actually translated it for you. You don't have to do this by hand, certainly not, or by posting it into um, any sort of web tool. Um, they have the translation here for you. Um, and uh, a little trick, if you want to find this coding sequence amongst all of these nucleotides here, uh, here's the trick. Just click on the letters CDS. This is not This is a link, and it will highlight it for you. This might be especially important if you are trying to, say, copy this out. Um, or try to manipulate it. You'll note the first three letters are the start codon, the ATG, and at the end we've got a stop, a TGA. One other thing you should note, um, even though this is mRNA sequence, you'll see Ts, which might be a little bit confusing. Um, keep in mind when mRNA is uh, harvested, it's generally reverse transcribed into DNA which is called cDNA, or complementary DNA, and that's what's actually sequenced. So this is, yes, DNA uh, lettering, uh, but it refers to an RNA. Other information on this page that is worth noting, I'm going to close this up so it's less distracting. 
on the very right hand column there's quite a bit of additional information that you may or may not won't find interesting um, over here you can actually blast the sequence to find similar nucleotide sequences elsewhere in the database if you are trying to do polymerase chain reaction um, PCR or um, other uh, uh, functions, uh, you may want to design some primers, and there's a tool here linked um, that may help you with that. Um, if we scan down, if you'd like to buy uh, actual DNA of this, uh, this clone here, uh, you have links to uh, companies that will sell it to you um, for a price. Uh, both here, if you'd like to interfere with its expression, you can get small interfering RNAs. Here's a full-length cDNA clone uh, that you can purchase and so forth.